Hey, welcome back to the channel. So they say the average millionaire has seven income streams. And I'm not a millionaire yet, but I have been an entrepreneur full-time since 2016. I have seven income streams now that do right around 35K per month in profit. And I wanna share with you what those income streams are, how you can get started creating these income streams for yourself, and then also how these do require some work, right? So these are not, if you're looking for fully passive income streams where you're kicking your feet up, you're drinking a Mai Tai, you're not doing any work, this is probably not gonna be for you because only one of these income streams are actually fully passive. But what I do wanna help you do through this video is maybe give you some inspiration on things that you can work on to start bringing in more income so that you can invest into more fully passive income streams. So with that said, let's jump into the first one right now. So income stream number one are services. And all of my services that I offer right now are mainly around email and helping people and businesses sell more with email. So my two core services, I have one that is more of a productized service. A productized service means it's, it's in between a product and a service in that you're delivering the same service over and over and over as you would with a product to every client. So I have a service that includes cold email and LinkedIn. And what we do there is we help companies, mainly in the tech space, we help them book more phone calls with the types of clients that they're looking for. And on those phone calls, they usually close a deal from there. So that is the productized service that I offer. Then I also have freelancing services where I'm mostly doing the work here. So I go to companies that have lists of customers and buyers that they're not fully leveraging and they're not fully emailing. So I go to these companies that have lists of customers and I help them make more sales out of their customer list. So I send emails and I write emails for their list and help them get more of their sales and then I take a cut off of that. So that is income stream number one, is services. And it's mainly around email marketing and helping companies make more money with email. Income stream number two is coaching and consulting. So I do a lot of coaching one-on-one -on -one and in groups, and I help people learn more about email marketing, grow their business with email marketing, and also digital and info products. So there's different options that I have. I have one where if you wanna book one-on-one -on -one time with me, you can book a 60-minute session on Zoom where I just answer any of your questions. It's $300 an hour, and I get a handful of those every month, anywhere from four to eight of those one-on-one -on -one calls every month. And then I also have a group coaching programs where we're in small groups and we're working towards a goal together and I'm helping people and coaching them along through the process. So one that I have right now is a new program that I opened up called the Email Side Hustle Program. And the goal of that coaching program is to help people get 1K to 5K per month clients by writing simple emails for them. So they go out to businesses, they learn how to get these businesses to pay them money, to write them emails, to make more sales, pretty much how I've done it with, with Growth Response, which is my, my service business. And I coach people and I teach people how to do this in small group settings. So I love coaching, especially in the small group coaching environment because I'm able to work closely with people, with clients and students. I'm able to help them get a better result in their life and in their business. And I'm able to impact more people because one-on-one uh, -on -one is great, but I can only impact one person through that 60 minute session. When I'm doing group calls and group coaching, I'm able to talk to 20, 30, 40 people at one time and then they go out and get results all at once. So I love this group coaching setting. I love working both one-on-one -on -one and in group settings, but uh, the group settings, the upside is I'm, I, I'm able to work with more people at once and help more people uh, and impact more people all at once. So that's income stream number two. Income stream number three is digital products. So I sell things like eBooks and mini courses and template packs that help people with different things to do with their business. And again, this is mainly around email marketing and copywriting and creating digital products. Most of the things that I roll out are around those things. So I have these lower ticket digital products. They're usually between $5 for an ebook all the way up to $100 or $200 for like a mini course or a template pack. And again, these help people get very specific results depending on what they're looking for. So I have something called the Super Fast Sales Email Challenge and that helps people for $29 write their first email that sells. So it's developing the skill of learning how to write a sales email for $29, and that's an example of a digital product that I sell. That's probably my most popular digital product right now, under $100. And someone buys that product, if they're more interested in taking the next step, I have my group coaching. So you can see that digital products are a great standalone income stream, but it also feeds into my other offers and it feeds into my consulting and coaching and other things that I have going on, maybe even my services there. So that's income stream number three, digital products. Income stream number four is an online course. 
So I'm making this its own income stream because some of the online courses I have are standalone, but a lot of them are grouped in with coaching. So an online course, I use a platform called Kajabi where I upload different videos, different uh, workbooks, and different tools and resources to help people get some kind of result in their life. So the email side hustle coaching program that I talked about, there is a video course component to that over five weeks that helps people take the steps needed to get clients and grow to 1K to 5K per month plus in their own email side hustle business. So the online course, there's videos. It's, it's great because anybody can view those videos at any time. We don't have to be in a live group coaching call or a Zoom call for them to go through it. So they can log into this area. Uh, I use Kajabi. There's other platforms like Teachable or Padaya. There's tons of different course platforms out there, but I have videos in there and training and tools and resources that helps people move along and get a result in their life, uh, depending on what the course is about. So that's income stream number four is an online course. I love these because I'm able to impact a lot of people at once and I don't have to be present and live for them to go through the online course. Income stream number five is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing, a lot of people look at it like the first business model to go into. I don't fully agree with that. I only started doing affiliate marketing pretty recently, like in the last year. And affiliate marketing is mainly when you're, you have an audience built up, people who want to learn what you're doing and who want to follow after you. And you're basically recommending products and you're getting a cut of whatever sales come in through your recommendation. So let's say I'm selling, I'm using a product uh, called Active Campaign to send my emails, and I recommend that to my audience. I say, hey, you guys should check out this tool. It's awesome for sending emails. I get maybe 30, 40% of the, whoever signs up using my link. Now, the reason I say it's not a good beginner business model is because I needed an audience before I had people wanting to sign up through my link, right? They respected my opinion. They wanted to learn what I was doing. And because of that, they were willing to sign up for whatever tool I was recommending. If you don't have an audience, if you don't have people who are listening to you through your content or wanting to learn more about what you're doing, then it's, but you're better off focusing on something like services or coaching or consulting first and building up an audience before you start diving into affiliate marketing. At least that's my opinion. So now what I do is I just take all the tools that I'm using to run my business and I just recommend it to people. So now it's like a semi passive income stream because I'm, all I'm doing is just recommending things that I'm already using. And that also brings up an important point. If you get into affiliate marketing, never recommend something that you're not already using. I see a lot of people teaching this, like just find products that are selling well and recommend them. I don't agree with that. And it's another reason why I think that you need to be running, uh, you need to have an audience at some point because you need to be using these tools, whether it's for your business or for a hobby, whatever it is, using these things before you recommend them. That's my opinion there. So that is income stream number five is affiliate marketing. Income stream number six is YouTube ad revenue. So everyone always talks about YouTube ad revenue, right? They, there's tons of videos of this is how much I made in 2020 with YouTube. I make anywhere from 600 to $800 per month from YouTube AdSense uh, ad revenue. And all that is is whenever you watch one of my videos, you might see like an ad before the video or in the middle of the video or near the end, and I'm getting paid for how many views of those ads there are on my videos. So I'm in a pretty good niche right now. I'm in like the business and money and finance niche. So my CPMs are pretty high. I think I'll make a separate video on this. I think they're around $52 or so, and a CPM is, uh, cost per thousand impressions. So it's basically how much you get paid for a thousand views of your video. So uh, mine is pretty high. It depends what niche you're in. I'm in the personal finance and the money and the entrepreneurship niche, which pays pretty high. And I just get paid AdSense revenue for however many views of an ad are on my video. And finally, income stream number seven. This is probably the one you've been waiting for, the one that is fully passive income at this point, and that is dividend income. So what are dividends? It's basically you invest in a stock or a mutual fund or an ETF or an index fund. And depending on what you're investing in, if you pick the ones that pay dividends, the companies that pay this, then what happens is every quarter or every year, depending on the company, they pay out a percentage of their profits to their shareholders as a dividend. And this is fully automatic. It's fully an autopilot. You don't really have to do anything other than pick the stocks and funds to invest in. So I get paid for my business every month it goes from my business to my personal account, and then automatically, without me having to lift a finger, it takes a percentage of that paycheck and invests it into certain stocks or funds that I have picked. And I like to pick things that have dividend because it's income, right? If you invest in a company like Tesla, yeah, the company stock can grow a lot, but 
you're not getting really paid for it over time, right? So I have, I have dividend stocks that my grandparents have invested in for me since I was a kid that have grown to a decent amount now off of just a very small amount over time because of the dividends. So I like to pick dividend paying stocks and funds because I get paid income. And my goal is by the age of 35, I'm, I'm 30 right now, I'd like to have 5 million invested into dividend paying stocks and funds and just live off of that passively where I would never have to work or worry about money again, right? If I'm getting paid anywhere from two to 4% in dividends off of $5 million, you know, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty solid life that covers all the essentials there, right? So I like dividend paying stocks and funds because it's fully passive, but I want you to remember, you can't just jump into, you're not gonna get rich off of dividend stocks and, and index funds and ETFs if you don't already have active income that's fueling your dividend stocks and your investments. So I need all these other six income streams that are making me money in order to invest into dividend stocks that makes me more money and multiplies what I already have. So really important to remember, right? A lot of people wanna start with passive income, but passive income really only exists once you have, truly passive income at least, only exists once you have enough money to make it worth it, right? Because the percentages, two to 5% that you're making passively, you need a lot of money to make that work for you where you can just live off of that with a Mai Tai on the beach, okay? So those are my seven income streams right now. I'm not a millionaire, but it does make around 35 to 40K per month profit sometimes higher, sometimes lower from those seven income streams. And I want to share that with you so you can get some inspiration on the different income streams that you can work on. And I share how to get started with all these income streams on the videos on my channel. So whether you wanna start in services or digital products or online courses or coaching, I wanna be talking about all those different ways to create internet income on this channel through my videos, through my past videos and the, and the future ones coming up. So hopefully you guys like that. Give me a like if you did. Comment below if you're already working on these income streams or which ones that are interesting to you or you wanna learn more about. If you have any questions, let me know. Happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.